guys, how you doing? Ron's not here. Well, I have uh, here the GTX uh, 670, uh, the four gigabyte uh, version. And if you've been following my uh, build log and videos, you know that I'm going to be I'm using this in a 600T um, water cooled gaming rig. Um, and uh, to water cool it, I uh, did some research, and we're going to find out if the uh, EKFC 680 GTX water block actually works on this uh, on this uh, graphics card. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll find out firsthand uh, if uh, you can install it on there. Um, some of the research I did says that you should be able to. And uh, well, let's see. Well, this is the uh, the 670, and it is uh, does have a backplate on it. This is the version that uh, comes with the backplate. Um, but you'll notice though the PCB ends right here so uh, the question is uh, is just part of the water block going to hang over onto that uh, portion of the card well we'll find out here I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it apart and get it ready to see if uh, it will mount well the first step when you're disassembling a, a stock 680 is to remove uh, all of the uh, screws on the uh, back plate uh, so that you can remove the um, uh, the stock cooler. Now, um, with the uh, back plate here, there's it looks like I'm going to have to go through that one level to get to the other screws, I think. Uh, or maybe that's just going to be it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I've got to remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 screws. Uh, 11 screws, yeah. And looks like I probably have to remove this here too, um, over by the corner of the uh, where the PCI bracket is. Okay, I just removed um, all of the uh, screws. Oh, got one. Remove all the screws that are coming through the back plate, and I also remove the one screw here in the corner by the PCI bracket. And that actually completely. Removes the uh, the cooling solution, the stock cooling right off of here. So this guy came off very uh, cleanly, and uh, the back plate just lines up with all of the key mounting points on the PCB here. So you can see, actually, and there's some uh, thermal pads on the back. Uh, that cover uh, looks like uh, these guys. I guess that's some more. I think that's some more of the RAM chips, as well as the ones on the front. So here is the uh, 670, the four gigabyte version. Um, and the PCB card is uh, half of what the uh, 680 is, and also it has uh, the PCI connectors or two uh, six pins side by side, whereas the 680 reference have the uh, stacked. Um, connectors. So now I'm going to take out the uh, take out the uh, water block and the water block has um, thermal mount thermal pads and uh, miscellaneous hardware and the, uh, the water block that I got <coughs> is the uh, the nickel plexi one. It looks real nice and if uh, you're interested in uh, seeing my the build that I'm doing that this car is going into, it's a uh, Corsair 600T, and it's going to have some uh, white um, Mayhem's uh, pastel uh, in it, and that's going to run through this guy here. So, uh, so let's just see if this guy is going to work. And I think maybe no, maybe so. Oh, actually, yeah. It requires removing, I believe, this heat sink right here. But actually, you line up where the CPU is going to go on this. There's some, uh, looks like some chokes right here that are pretty high, and there's also some uh, caps here as well. So I don't think. Uh, Regardless of what I was told, uh, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit, guys. This will not work. 
let's see. I think what we have here is an interference fit with uh, these chokes over here. And right now I'm trying to line up right over where the CPU would be. And where the mounting points on the card are. And they just, they do not line up. I think there is a 670 card that is based on the 680 PCB reference. That is the one that actually would work. Right now, looking at this right now, you've got the connectors on the top interfere. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you. Actually, I'll do that here. So, here's your... And what you have is you have interference up here from these connectors. And uh, the... Uh, these caps here and these chokes right there um, are also interfering. So, um, so no go. This beautiful water block will not work on this version of the card, the four gigabyte version of this card. So, this is not the one that's going to go into the rig. I'm going to have to return it. So, I'll go ahead and uh, post this up. Let you know, but. Uh, EKFC 680 GTX water block will not fit on the EVGA 4 gigabyte uh, version of the um, uh, GTX 670. Alright, runs the night out.